I'm Luke, and I represent Wellington College Belfast. I'm Mark, I'm from Wellington as well. No, I'm Dean, no, I'm from Wellington as well. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your project. Our project is, why is the Milky Way milky? We came across this project because us three went to a stargazing evening and we saw little traces of the Milky Way galaxy while we were, while we were using telescopes and we wondered, why does it look milky, you know? So how did you, what were the starting points in getting this project together? What was the aim of it and what, what have you sort of found out? Well, we've, we, uh, we put together, we thought, well, why is the Milky Way here as it does? And we did a series of experiments, different ones, to determine, you know, is it like that or is it not? And in the end we found out that maybe it isn't quite as milky as we would think it would be. It should be more red, really. Uh, if you took away all the bright stars in the middle, it would look more red than it does now. And tell us about how you actually conducted the experiments. What, what did they involve? Well, we thought of uh, four different ways of uh, experimenting and simulating how the galaxy works. So uh, we used flour to simulate uh, dust in the galaxy and used different lights to uh, simulate the stars in the, the galaxy and how the dust affects the light and how it changes and scatters. And what is the kind of the feedback that you've had from other people when you've told them that the Milky Way maybe isn't quite as milky as, it, as they well, ex first expected? Well, from the most obvious thing you could sort of think of, would, there'd be a bit of shock and most people would look at a milky thing and go, it's milky. <laughs> Once you're told some crazy things like it's all to do with brightness of stars and things like that, they would just look at that and go, ooh, that's, that's strong stuff, yeah. Uh, and have you had any challenges along the way in putting together your project? Uh, yes, with some of the experiments there were a couple of technical issues, I'd say. Uh, especially with experiment four, trying to get that laser hitting the sensor. Pain, I write pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and lastly, what do you think you've gained out of taking part, not only as a team of three coming here to the exhibition, but as a result of taking part in the exhibition itself? Oh, yes, well, I found it uh, very exciting, just to be involved in all of this. It's, uh, Sort of makes its science seem more fun and we'll want to do more of it in the future. Well, guys, uh, we'd like to just wish you all the best for the rest of the week. Good luck.